From the moment it begins beating until the moment it stops, the human heart works tirelessly. The heart is responsible for pumping blood through the blood vessels into the body. Sometimes the valves that regulate blood flow into the heart don't function properly. This is a condition known as mitral valve prolapse. The diagnosis of mitral valve prolapse is usually made because a physician hears a heart murmur on the patient in an office visit. The vast majority of patients with mitral valve prolapse are actually asymptomatic. In fact, it's present in 5% of the women in the United States and about 3% of men in the United States. In an estimated 40,000 patients a year, many under the age of 50, have operations for leaky mitral valves caused most often by a degeneration of the delicate mitral leaflets at the base of the heart. Some patients do become symptomatic with mitral valve prolapse, however, and that's usually either they have their heart racing or they begin to get shorter breath when they walk, and these are side effects of the valve not only prolapsing but leaking severely. A decade ago, mitral valve repair would have involved open chest surgery. When a patient had to go traditional open heart surgery and have the breast bone split, uh, the results long term were generally quite good, but the short, in the short term the patient had a lot of discomfort in the chest wall, had trouble breathing because of the, the pain uh, in the chest, and their recovery time usually took them about six to eight weeks, usually two months, to completely recover because of the pain and the trauma done to the chest wall. But today, a minimally invasive approach for mitral valve repair offers significant benefit to the patient, which means better outcomes. A minimally invasive approach for, to valve surgery has quite a few advantages. The most uh, prominent advantage is that the patient recovers much more quickly. In fact, they can get back to full activities within three or four weeks as compared to two months with a traditional open surgery. There's less pain. Uh, there's less risk infection, there's less need for blood transfusions, uh, and their overall recovery just goes quicker. In the spring of 2006, John Greenberg could barely climb a flight of stairs without running out of breath. It became increasingly difficult for me to, uh, to get around. Uh, I had a hard time walking up the stairs at Grand Central at the end. I mean, I would get winded. I have to, to wait on my, uh, at one of the, one of the levels of, uh, in between on the stairs just carrying a briefcase around. Upon being diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse, John had his valve repaired by Dr. Aubrey Galloway, chairman of cardiothoracic surgery at NYU Langone Medical Center. John had a severe prolapse uh, of, the, of the mitral valve uh, with severe leakage of the valve. Because of the leakage in the valve, uh, his heart was becoming overloaded with blood and becoming enlarged and swollen and uh, he was becoming very symptomatic. In fact, he couldn't walk even short distances without getting shorter breath. So in his case, it was very important that we get the valve repaired and we get it repaired soon so that we could return him back to normal heart function and, and normal physical activities. Young, healthy, and fit, Marnie Baum was living an active life when a routine checkup revealed a severe case of mitral valve prolapse. It all started, I went in for a routine physical and the doctor asked me if I had uh, a heart murmur, and I said no, that I hadn't heard, um, you know, no 